Hey, got our first ride of the day here <clears throat> on this old feed bed. The other set of air is still, still there. This guy got all tangled up, so we're going to get him out of here, get the remake made. Let's see what else we got. Hopefully we got a few more. Here's an unexpected catch. First time I've ever had this happen. Got a beaver and a rat set. <laughs> well, it's not the first time I've ever had it happen. I'll take that back. But uh, we're going to try and get him dispatched here real quick and... Get him out of here before he gets away. That's not too bad. A muskrat and a beaver on <laughs> on one hut. Um, the old one and a half had him by a couple of toes there. It's not a monster beaver, but held him just fine. He made a mess on this side, though. But they're going to get reset. Check the rest of them. Pretty cool. Man, I love trapping rat huts. Pretty much always a slim dunk. I always set just where they're crawling up out at. Give them enough to get into some water and drown and that's what you end up with. That's a nice big rat there. We got two on this one. Got another one over here. Still got a couple more sets to check. Pretty good run for uh, just one little stop and as small as that little wetlands area is there. Not a big beaver, but glad to catch it. We had a couple beaver-specific sets that were empty, but we'll take them however we can get them. That little one and a half held him pretty good. Uh, I did say that I caught a beaver and muskrat set before, and that's because I have. It was uh, on a stream, a little undercut bank where the muskrats were coming out to feed in a one and a half long spring. Held him just fine too. It was back foot, smaller beaver, about the same as that one. But doesn't happen too often, but when it does, it's a nice surprise. That's why you got a stake for the biggest critter that is possibly there. And one thing I did on my muskrat stakes like that, which I'll show tomorrow, is I went from uh, a little bit of an extension piece from using wire, I switched to cable just before I went to this spot. And boy, I'm glad I did, because if I'd have had that wired... Um, I'd say that beaver probably would have been gone. So I'll show that tomorrow. A little upgrade I did. I'm glad I did it. I'll continue to do it now. But nice big rats. Hopefully all of them that come out of there this size. Those are a nice rat for sure. So we'll be back at it tomorrow. Hey, looky here. Got us a beaver. Um looks like our smaller one what we have here is just that little channel that runs up through there goes way up through to the dam I figured they were probably using it and I made just a small caster mound there <clears throat> up behind it perfect spot for the 330 to fit so we'll get him out of there show you the set once I get it redone we also have another beaver uh, just a little ways over there another smaller one as well um, and a, just a perfect channel set too so We'll show you that one in a minute. Got our other beaver right here. This spot here was hard to pass up. I mean, look at the perfect channel coming through there. And they even got a groove worn in the bottom here. Could set another one there too, probably, but this one here works for just, just good. Another smaller beaver, but we'll take them. We got a guy that wants them out of here too, so, but can see up here it's all widened out you got all everything all chewed off and funnel right down here in one spot so this is the set and then off down through there it all flows away <laughs> killer spot we'll get him out of here and i'll show you this set too there we go we got our set back in action it's ready to rock for another one we got that dude he was coming down through here so i must have been spreading out going somewhere last night but I got my long chain all the way over there wired off to the bottom of that bush. Just gives them room to get out of the way because there's probably more that come through here after he gets caught. So let's go check our rat sets now. All right, got our first rat of the day. I wanted to show you guys real quick what I was talking about yesterday with what I do with all the stakes. I went from the wire, I went to the cable. <clears throat> Just double furrow that in through the lath up here. I'm using two foot of cable, another double ferrule and a snap link on this end and then to the trap. 
couple swivels on it. Down they go. That's what you end up with. At the little feeder spot again. This is the worst when you got to deal with ice that's about an eighth or a quarter of an inch thick, but we got a trap missing here, so let's see what we got. Make sure we got something. Reach down, get the cable. Oh yeah, another nice rat. Take them like that. Must have caught them obviously before the ice formed, so we'll give it one more night, and then I think we're gonna be probably in big trouble here for the most part. Got three sets on this one. Two are frozen in and one's got a frozen in rat on it. We'll take him like that. When stuff's frozen in like this, you want to make sure you bust off the ice around it and any ice attached to it. Just leave to it, or you know, attached to the animal because if you got pulling ice off, especially on these rats, you're going to be pulling a lot of hair out with it. So just leave the ice on, get it home, let it thaw out later. Last trap of the day, one last rat. Can't beat it. This little hut here's got uh, poop all over it. I mean, all over it. Both sides are just covered up. A little toilet for them. Good spots. Four more nice big rats and two beavers today. This little spot's working out pretty good for us. We are. Definitely gonna pull tomorrow because tomorrow night's supposed to go down into the low teens, so we'll be froze out big time. So whatever we get out of there tomorrow's, what's gonna be our take for it? These little lines like this are fun. Catching some critters and getting out, enjoying the outside. So let's uh, get ready for tomorrow. We'll have some more, I hope. All right, got us another beaver here in the little channel set. He was coming from down somewhere coming up nailed him we'll take him like that uh, I guess you can't really see him probably there um, there we go another smaller one so there's probably a pretty big family in here but we're done out here for now we're gonna move locations here in a few days and get stuff back in the ground so let's keep on pulling traps see what we got Last two traps, one of them's missing. We have one rat for us today. Everything else was frozen. Oh yeah, nice rat. Everything else was completely frozen. No chance of getting any rats that way. So like I said, last two, we're out of here. The final haul for our little line, just hitting that one spot. So, not bad, considering the fact that every single one of my rat sets was completely froze in, so the one we got, we were lucky to get, and we nailed another beaver out of there, so that was good, but time for new ground.